Promotional consideration for Good Day Marketplace is provided by the following. Coming up on Marketplace, a restaurant that just opened that's ushering in a new wave of barbecue. You know what that means. Fasten your e belts. You're watching Good Day Marketplace on Fox 28. You know, a rich history can add some pretty sweet flavor to your food, but not that it needs it here at Rook's Tavern. But today, we're learning about their past and a delicious meal that could be in your future with the owner, John Havens. How's it going, John? Good, Cam, nice to see you. Good, so, I mean, tell me about the history of this building and why it's important to the community. Well, first of all, Aaron and I have been uh, born and raised in Columbus, and so it's a place that always has a special place in our heart. And when we came back and decided to open up a restaurant, we wanted a, a building that had some history. So this building's from 1901. Wow. Uh, it was built by Henry T. Chittenden or his descendants. You can see, uh, uh, the, the bar fronts are all the old ceiling tiles that we took down. Nice! We had the Amish up in Holmes County design, do all our tables and all our bar tops and all the woodwork you see. Man, it adds so much character too. And with that character comes great drinks and great food. So starting off with the drinks, uh, what do you have, especially with summer around the corner? Uh, we have a couple things that are really popular. Uh, first being a traditional Pimm's cup okay. that we use with uh, F and Cucumber Vodka that gives it a little bit of a different flair. And one of our most popular drinks, we call it the Coal Miner's Daughter. Coal Miner's Daughter is a traditional Moscow mule that we kick up a little bit with activated charcoal. And so, you know, if you eat poison, yeah. you end up in the hospital, uh -huh. they give you activated charcoal. I didn't know that. So we do two or three little dashes there. That already looks One and cool. a half ounces of vodka. I'm gonna give it a little squeeze of lime in there. I'll shake that up for you. We'll strain this into a glass. We'll finish off with a little Gosling's ginger beer. We like to use a Ginger, root, ginger beer with a little bit more bite to it. But it's a, like a little different yeah. fit, a little different flair on kind of an old classic. That looks great. Now what other drinks do you have for the summer? Uh, blackberry lemonade, which is really nice. We make all our own simple syrup, so we use a blackberry simple syrup. Great, well you know what, I'm not thirsty anymore, but I'm still hungry. What about the barbecue front? Who's got that covered? Aaron. All right, well I'm gonna go see what he's cooking up. Aaron, what are you working on over here, man? Uh, I've got some pork spare ribs here. Nice. Uh, right now, they're still in their uh, subprimal form. They okay. come to us from the processing plant with some breastbone still attached, a little bit of flat meat, and uh, it's not always the prettiest, sleekest piece of meat. Uh, so that'll end up with a lot of charring and burning. And up here is a bunch of cartilage that's not a lot of fun to eat. Okay. Uh, so that's what you'll find uh, whenever you get spare ribs, you know how they're really long? Yeah. And then the end of them is like chewy cartilage mm -hmm. that either you spit out or end up accidentally chewing up. Right. Uh, we're gonna get rid of most of them. Okay. So, so while you're getting rid of this, I mean, talk about the food here. What can people expect when they see your menu and they dine? We like to think of ourselves as kind of like a new wave of barbecue. Uh, I think a lot of people tend to think of barbecue as grilled meat with ketchup or right. mustard. We try to stay away from that. Okay. We're almost 100% scratch kitchen. I buy in bread, I buy in tortillas, I buy in ketchup. That's it. That's amazing. Well, Aaron, I'm gonna let you finish up here. I can smell some cooked ribs. Oh man, that rib is so tender. It just falls apart in your mouth. Thank you. This is great. So John, uh, first of all, Aaron, great job. He's still working back there. So John, uh, when can people come out here and where are you located? Uh, so we're on the corner of Summit and Chittenden okay. and parking on campus, as you all know, is a bear. But we do have a lot available to us on the corner of 11th and Summit. It's called Home Team Properties. Okay. And so you're free, free, free to park there after five. Uh, Tuesday through Saturday, we open at five. Kitchen closes at 10, but the bar stays open till 11. And on Sunday, we do a brunch, Ooh. which is my particular favorite. All we right. do a traditional Texas style brisket, 12 to 18 hour smoke, $2 mimosas. So that's 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. every Sunday. Very nice. Well, you know what? If you're looking for some delicious new wave barbecue, this is a place to come. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to continue eating. See you later. Ooh. I need another one. <laughs>